What's up you guys? Welcome to Grind Force Gaming. I'm Falcon and I have got to show you this duplication glitch that you can currently pull off in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I turned the one diamond that I had in my inventory into 90 diamonds in a matter of minutes. It's a super easy duplication glitch. Let me show you how it works. I first caught wind of this glitch from Top Gaming Plays, their YouTube channel is where I caught it. Uh, so I immediately went to the game and tried it out for myself. There had just been an update, but I verified that even after the update that happened uh, yesterday, May 21, it was still functioning and it is still functioning as of this recording. So the way this works, you're going to want the item that you want to duplicate to be in the very last slot of your inventory. The easiest way to do this is to just drop the entire stack of whatever the item is on the ground and then pick it back up. As long as you drop all of the ones that you had, it should then end up in the very bottom slot of your inventory because it's the newest item. From there, we're going to find a ledge to jump off. It doesn't need to be super high, just high enough so that we have time to pull our paraglider out. What we're going to do is jump off the ledge and pull the paraglider out and then immediately open our inventory. Go to any other item in your inventory that you have a quantity of one. It specifically needs to be a quantity of one in order for this to work. So select anything that you only have one of and hold it. So it's going to be held in the first slot there just above link. Then go to the item that you want to duplicate and fill those hold slots with that item. Now what we're going to do is back out with B and all the items are going to drop and then we're going to go back to the inventory right away with the plus button. What should have happened here is that, yes, the first item that you chose is dropped, and then also everything else is dropped. And that first item is gone from your inventory. But if you did this correctly, whatever you had chosen to duplicate is still in your inventory as it was, but now it's also been dropped on the ground beneath you. One thing to note is if you do it too many times in the air, the items will begin to despawn. I, I tested it out to, and found that it's safe reliably to do this four times in a row in the air before you hit the ground and, and you won't lose anything. You'll, you'll only gain all the duplications that you made. Uh, if you start to do more than that, then there's a chance that items will begin to despawn. It also seemed like maybe some inventory slots were getting weird, like maybe I was losing items in the slot to the right, something like that. Um, so don't go too crazy as you're falling down, but for sure up to four times looks like is safe to do this trick in just one fall. Get out there, give it a try. I know that right now it's still functioning, so you can still do this. Uh, there's a good chance it's going to get patched at some point in the future though, so make sure to give it a try sooner rather than later. If this glitch worked for you, give this video a like, and consider subscribing to the Grind Force Gaming channel for more Legend of Zelda content. Thanks for watching. I'm Falcon, I'll see you next time.